Hello, and welcome to In Focus, a video series focused on the solutions and innovations Trimble is bringing to the construction industry. My name is Rob Miller. Today, I'm joined by Dwayne Gleason, Vico Product Manager from Trimble. We asked Dwayne to join us today to talk specifically about Document Controller, a solution for managing design documents and identifying change revisions. Dwayne, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Rob. Good to be here. Appreciate it, man. So let's start at the beginning. Tell us a little bit about why a contractor would want to adopt Document Controller. Well, Rob, construction's always been a little bit of a moving target. And by that, I mean, uh, take, for example, the contractor who's been working on a base building for a couple of months now, and then a new tenant signs up to be inside that building. Automatically, the new tenant is going to have their own design layout that sort of needs to be shoehorned into that existing base building design. And that's also going to be a design that evolves as the tenant starts to learn more about what they want. So inherently, construction was always a moving target. And then in the last couple of years, we started to get these new ways of contracting, like design build and integrated project delivery. And on those uh, contract projects, the design is changing every two weeks or every four weeks by plan. So it now means that people are signing up to build construction projects on day one when they actually have no idea what the finished product is going to look like and they expect an update on that finished product every two weeks. So it's always really kind of a moving target that contractors are trying to chase when they build a building. So with these constant changes, how is it that a contractor would manage this today if they don't have a tool such as Document Controller? Well, probably the most traditional way is through the old light table. So we would just take a plans table and we put a two by four fluorescent fixture under it, paste the old design on the bottom, the new design right on top, and you just look on top for what the changes might be. We've also got sort of the traditional slip sheet method. So we can take an eight and a half by 11 RFI sketch. We cloud an area and then we tape the sketch in there to kind of reflect the new change. But that all presumes that we have enough time to catch the change. There's a lot of projects where the change is happening so fast, we don't even necessarily mark up the original set of documents as much as we just take the brand new design, hope it includes everything, and then just run with it out in the field. So how does Document Controller specifically address the challenges of this ever-evolving set of changes? Well, I think it does it in two ways. The first is that it brings together all of the design inputs so whether it's a 3D model coming from one of the seven different applications that we support, or whether it's a 2D PDF drawing, you can put all of them in the exact same project, co-hosted, all together. The other way that we handle that is through versioning. So you can put as many versions into the system as you want, store all of those versions in the same exact file, and then you effectively get to choose which design model you would turn on or off or which set of 2D drawings you would reference. So it makes kind of aggregating all of those changes much, much easier. Now, you mentioned both the 2D drawings and 3D models. So with the construction evolution from the legacy 2D paper drawings to coordinated VDC models, how is it that Dot Controller actually allows those to work together and, and bridges this transition? That's a good question. So. What we can do inside that program, by bringing together the 2D and the 3D, we're bringing together a lot of different worlds. So you might actually have a design intent model in 3D, but then you also have the coordinated trade model in 3D. You also have the design intent 2D documents that could sit next to the shop drawing 2D documents. Just by putting all of that into the same system and using a concept that we call hybrid mode, where you can kind of host that 2D drawing right onto the 3D model, we kind of fill in that space that's right in the middle of everything that you were talking about there. Interesting. 
Now, how is it that you see contractors are actually implementing this or adopting it within their organizations? Each project seems to have its own tendency to want to use BIM or not want to use BIM. Okay. Um, if they're a heavy BIM operation, we're seeing all the models loaded up in there. A lot of times we're seeing uh, younger workforce interacting with those models. They're comfortable with the 3D. They know how to interact with it and navigate it. Uh, but on the more traditional projects, you would see more paper-based prints in there. Uh, you might have a more veteran construction guy in there looking at the 2D drawings. And then on those projects, which are kind of right on the middle of the chasm between the traditional and the next gen, we use that hybrid mode where you sort of get the best of both worlds in any given screenshot. Now, if I'm correct, document controller that we're talking about right now is actually a, a subset of the entire Vico suite of functionality, is that right? Yep, it's only about 20% of what the overall Vico Office functionality is, and it's designed to let folks dip their toe in the water. Uh, again, we're, we're not seeing everybody embrace the BIM with open arms, so by adding the ability to put in the 2D PDF contract documents juxtaposed with the BIM, we've just made this small subset of functionality that people can start to get comfortable with and then if they decide that they like it and that they want to do more with their BIM, we can kind of unlock the rest of the functionality and we can get into quantification, estimating, scheduling, whatever the case may be. Wow. So you mentioned it's only 20%, but that's a very valuable and powerful 20%. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, though, that's all we have time for in this video. If you'd like to learn more about Document Controller or more about Vico Office, check out the website or contact your local Building Point representative. From all of us here at Building Point, thank you for watching.